Today on Eagle Nation News, located in downtown Prosper is one family business that has the goal of serving other families in Prosper. Landry Long is on scene at Prosper Pantry. 380 Outfitters is a staple of downtown Prosper. Coleman Meyer takes a closer look at the Prosper Gear Shop. Hope, understand, grace, and success. Hugs Cafe works to enhance the lives of disabled individuals. Allison Wood explores Hugs Cafe and their goal. Good morning, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us. Today is Friday, October 14th. I'm Madeline Wentz. And I'm Christina Krasnova. A California man, Philip White, has filed a lawsuit against Texas Pete Hot Sauce for not being made in Texas. White claims he wouldn't have purchased the sauce had he known it was actually made in North Carolina. The lawsuit alleges that the use of imagery associated with Texas on the label is false marketing and contributes to the defendant, T.W. Gardner Food Company, intentionally capitalizing on consumers' desire to partake in the culture and cuisine of Texas. White hopes T.W. Gardner Food Company will alter their advertising practices and reimburse unsatisfied consumers due to its products, quote, false and deceptive labeling. A new state park is opening in Texas. It was just announced on Tuesday that the first state park in 25 years is set to open in late 2023, which is actually just in time for the Texas Park and Wildlife Department's 100th year celebration. The Palo Pinto Mountain State Park will include 16 to 18 miles of trails for hiking, biking, and horse riding. There will also be four separated campgrounds and a lake for fishing, swimming, and boating called Tucker Lake. Downtown Prosper is full of many unique stores, but one carries a family legacy that is being passed down to the future generations of Prosper residents. Landry Long is at Prosper Pantry to share the story behind the store. Thanks, Madeline. For many Prosper residents, making homemade meals is not an option due to the craziness of everyday life. But located in the heart of Prosper, Prosper Pantry is dedicated to making family dinner time easier, having homemade recipes that members of the community can pick up here at any time. I come from a family of 11 kids, and I had five of my own kids, and sitting at home with your family eating a meal as often as you can is really important. And so if we can take out the work of it, then that's what we're trying to do. Prosper Pantry creates high quality homemade meals for guests to order at any time. They have a new weekly menu as well as a wide variety of Prosper Pantry staples that are available at all times. I started by having a menu that I posted on Facebook. I came up with the recipes that I wanted to do. A lot of them are ones that I've done for years and then some that I was learning how to cook new stuff. Prosper Pantry originated in the owner's home kitchen but after gaining so much popularity it expanded to the commercial franchise it is today. Growing up, Peterson watched her mother in the kitchen prepare dinner for her 11 other siblings. This memory inspired her to start children's cooking camps over the summer at Prosper Pantry, carrying on the legacy and the tradition of cooking. We've done like little kid camps where they've made recipes from Disney movies. We did baking camp. We've had ranges of kids from about five to 17. Prosper Pantry cooks handcrafted recipes that members of the community can pick up to feed their families and create memories without the hassle of cooking. I really recognized how important a home cooked meal is, but how hard it is to make. That's one thing that we really hope that we can make that easier for people is to be able to just have a good home cooked meal and reconnect and talk and then move on. Ranging from breakfast to dessert, Prosper Pantry is dedicated to taking the weight of preparing meals off of customers' back. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Landry Long. You know, Christina, I heard that Prosper Pantry is expanding its franchise and opening a new store soon. Yeah, that's awesome. I actually haven't visited Prosper Pantry yet, but I've heard a lot about their cinnamon rolls, which, mm. oh my gosh, sounds so good for upcoming mm. fall weather. Yes. The Daily Show host Trevor Noah recently announced some sad news. All you need to know will be up next, live on Talent Talk. Seniors must fill out the senior quote form by October 28th. The form was sent out by your advisory teachers. Please contact Ms. Hamlin if you have any questions. There's been some heartbreaking news this week in the entertainment world. Zach Manning is here to cover what's been going on. 
Thanks, Christina. For seven consecutive years straight, Trevor Noah has been hosting The Daily Show on Comedy Central, but has recently announced that he will be leaving the show. Noah's official exit date is planned for December the 8th. Noah did make a special tribute to all of his fans for his seven-year anniversary on the show and stated, quote, there's so many people who make this thing come together and I want to say thank you to the audience for an amazing seven years. It's been truly wild. In other news, comedy star Kevin Hart announced the death of his father. Just two days ago, Hart made a special tribute on Instagram with a slideshow of pictures of him and his father during joyous times. In addition to his post, in the caption, he added, quote, RIP to one of the realest and rawest to ever do it. Gone but never forgotten. Give mom a hug for me. Y'all did good, man. Thank you for everything, and I am a better father because of you. We will all make you proud. For 12 years, 380 Outfitters has been serving the community by providing Prosper ISD merchandise. Coma Meyer took a closer look inside of this small local business. Located on 861 North Coleman Street, 380 Outfitters has been a widely known clothing shop specializing in printing and embroidering Prosper merchandise. Jordan Webb, owner of 380 Outfitters, has carried on the legacy of the store after taking over for her mother two years ago. The family-owned business has continued to be Prosper's go-to shop for spirit wear and sports apparel for over 12 years since the first 380 Outfitters location opened in 2010. I came to 380 Outfitters because my parents opened it when I was in middle school at Rogers Middle School. The first location was over on Prosper Trail behind Tiger Mart. And my mom has owned it all this time for 12 years now. Um, and she has run the store for 10. And then the past two, I've taken it over and run it for her. The shop has a wide variety of both Prosper and Rock Hill spirit wear and plans to continue to grow its selection of clothing items as the town of Prosper expands and new schools open in the coming years. The Walnut Grove drop will be coming in January, coming soon. We'll have some navy up in here. We're really excited. Um, navy's going to go well with our Prosper Green and our Rock Hill Blue. 380 Outfitters is open from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, and on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Coleman Meyer. Madeline, I don't know about you, but I love all the different designs the store has to offer. It feels like they're really keeping Prosper Spirit going. Absolutely, and they do that through their spirit wear that they offer, which you can buy and wear in the stands for a Prosper game. Speaking of which, stay tuned. Game time is next. On Saturday, the Prosper Mighty Eagle Band will compete in the Bands of America Marching Band competition at Children's Health Stadium. There will be food trucks and the top marching bands in the area in attendance. The Lady Eagles volleyball team is currently 10-0 and, and first in district. Grace Esquivel is in studio with this week's Game Time. Thanks, Madeline. Last Friday, the Lady Eagles volleyball team went head-to-head -head with Rock Hill and closed the night out with a 3-0 win. The Lady Eagles kept the winning streak going against Little Elm on Tuesday with another 3-0 sweep. The Lady Eagles will take the court again today in the arena at 5.30 against McKenney Boyd. Speaking of Eagles facing off against Broncos, the football team traveled to McKenney ISD Stadium last night to match up with the McKenney Boyd Broncos. The Eagles came home with a 49-16 win. Next Friday, the, Lady Eagle, the Eagles will take on Braswell at Children's Health Stadium at 7. From the field to the court, the tennis team finished the season with a 10-6 loss to Capel High. In water polo news, the, Lady e the Eagles weren't able to pull out a win over Flower Mound, falling short 22-7. The boys team also lost to Keller 14-7. Switching over to cross country, just an hour ago, the Eagles boys and girls team swept the 5-6A district meet, bringing home back-to-back -back district championships. The Student of the Month athletes were released last week. Congratulations to seniors Matthew Carzales and Morgan Frazier for water polo, sophomore Reagan Reed and junior Max Miller for cross country, senior Carson McClendon for football, and for volleyball, senior Callie Kiefer. Once again, congratulations to all of these athletes. While people with disabilities are sometimes overlooked, one local cafe chooses to recognize them for their abilities instead. Allison Wood is at Hugs Cafe to explore more about this unique business. Thanks! I'm here at Hugs Cafe located on Virginia Parkway in McKinney. I talked to the staff and customers to find out more about all the good this cafe is doing. Hugs Cafe provides employment to adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. While people with special needs may have limitations because of their condition, founder Ruth Thompson had a vision of providing them with the opportunities they deserve. I used to run the cooking school at Market Street. I started classes, cooking classes for adults with special needs there and saw how much they all wanted a job. 
In 2012, I was getting ready to retire. And I had a dream two nights in a row of a restaurant that employed adults with special needs. From cooking to cleaning to greeting the customers, there's a job to fit anyone's abilities at Hugs Cafe. My job here at Hugs is greeting the people that come in Hugs Cafe. Hugs Cafe has even developed an abundant amount of regular customers who come not just for the service but also the food. Ooh, I try to come here at least once a week, but sometimes I don't get as often, but I try at least once a week. I love Hugs. They have the best sandwich and girl, the horseradish, ooh, so good. Hugs Cafe prides itself on not only being a great cause, but also providing a bite to eat. I'm Allison Wood reporting for Eagle Nation News. Wow, Madeline, it's incredible to see Hugs Cafe giving opportunities to those with special needs. Absolutely, and a couple years ago, I actually had the opportunity to go and volunteer with some of these employees, and they are so determined and hardworking, and to see the joy that they get from being given this job, it's amazing what Hugs is doing in their lives. Absolutely. That's all we have for you today, Eagle Nation. Once again, I'm Madeline Wentz. And I'm Christina Krasnova. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day and go Eagles.